One side of a triangle measures 126 meter and the difference in length of its hypotenuse and the other side is 42 centimeter. We have to find the measures of its unknown sides and we have to find its area. Also we have to verify it using Heron's formula. So let the name of the triangle be ABC. Uh, one side is given and it is 126 meter. So let this side be 126 meters. Okay, about the hypotenuse and the other side, they are saying that the difference between hypotenuse and the other side is 42 centimeter. So, you know, let's assume that this side is x, this base is x. Then, you know, hypotenuse will be x plus 42. Why? Because the difference between the hypotenuse and this side is this base is 42 centimeters. So, if this is x, then it has to be 42 more than x. Why more than, not less than? because hypotenuse is the longest side in a right angle triangle so hypotenuse has to be larger than uh, this base this is why i'm adding okay and uh, see if you subtract base from this hypotenuse you are going to get 42 so uh, i hope this much is clear if there is any kind of confusion you can write in the comment section let's start so first we have to find the unknown sides uh, we are going to use pythagoras theorem to find these unknown sides so Pythagoras the theorem says that hypotenuse square is equals to perpendicular square plus base square. Hypotenuse is x plus 42. So let's write x plus 42 square is equals to perpendicular which is 126, 126 square and base is x, x, x square. Uh, let's expand this. So x plus 42 whole square. First we will write x square. And then we will write the square of 42. And then we will write twice of x and 42. 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 42 is equals to 126x square plus x square. Now x square from this side and this side have been eliminated. Now 42 square is uh, 1764 plus 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 42 will give you 84x is equals to 126 square is 15,876. Now 84x will become 15,876 minus 1,764 now 84x will become 14,112 x is going to become this so x is going to become 168 meters okay x is 168 meters so if x is 168 means bc is 168 bc is going to be 168 meters and hypotenuse AC is uh, 42 more than that so it is going to become 168 plus 42 so AC becomes 210 meters okay now we have found the unknown sides let's find the area so for area of this triangle ABC we can use this half times base times height formula because it is a right angle triangle so in right angle triangle the arms which have 90 degree uh, between them are known as base and height so you can call this side as base and this side as height or you can call this side as base and this side as height okay both are going to give you the same result so base is uh, 168 and height is 126 so half times 168 times 126 uh, 168 divided by 2 is going to give you 84 multiplied by 126 uh, we get 10,000 584 meter square so let's do this using the Heron's formula okay so to find the area using Heron's formula we have this formula s square root s multiplied by s minus a s minus b s minus c here s stands for the semi perimeter and a b c stand for the sides of the triangle okay so what is the semi perimeter first we have to find the perimeter and then we will get the semi perimeter so let's find perimeter here for perimeter we add sides so one side of the triangle was 168 other was 126 and the third side was 210 meters okay let's add these three sides 0 plus 6 plus 8 is going to give you 14 1 carry 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 6 is 10 so 0 and 1 carry 
1 plus 2 is 3 plus 2 5 so this is the perimeter semi perimeter is, is half of it so divide this perimeter by 2 and you are going to get the semi perimeter so semi perimeter is 252 meters okay okay let's write semi perimeter as 252 then 252 minus first side and 252 minus second side and 252 minus third side so first side was 126 you can see 126 168 and 210 168 126 210 okay so this is 252 and if you subtract them you are going to get 4 here uh, 12 minus 8 is 4 and you will get 8 here okay 252 minus 126 will give you 126 and this is going to give you 42 okay let's write the factors so 252 252 you divide by 2 you are going to get 126 okay let's stop here right 2 multiplied by 126 I'm stopping here because we have one more 126 so that is going to make a pair uh, then 84 can be written as 2 multiplied by 42 okay see 252 has been written this way 84 has been written this way 126 I'm not changing it 42 is also here so now I uh, see 2 and 2 make a pair so 2 comes out 126 and 126 makes a pair so it comes out 42 also makes a pair so it also comes out now you multiply these numbers uh, 2 multiplied by 126 is going to give you 252 multiplied by 42 we get 10,584 meter square okay so the area which we found using half base height was also 10,584 and this also is this uh, so these two areas are same it means we have verified it if there is any confusion you please write in the comment section thank you